Hey everyone, this is Caitlin Sheffer from Emerald and Ivy Studios, and I'm so excited you're joining me today for this really fun new project. I've recently been thinking a lot about how I could repurpose some of my old artwork. I have a drawer that's full to the brim with old paintings, and instead of throwing them all out, I decided to upcycle them and make a 3D framed collage. This video is part of my new Skillshare class, all about repurposing our old artwork and reducing waste as an artist. If you want to check out the full course, you can get two free months signing up with the link below. Let's get started. So what we're essentially doing with this project, um, and I think it would work well for other artists who use different mediums, is we're just going to make a collage basically. And I'm going to use depth in this collage to create a three-dimensional effect. Um, I'm sure you've seen things like this before, but I like framing it in the sense that we are repurposing, recycling, leaving a better earth behind us or not throwing all of this in the trash that eventually what we create can go up on our wall or be given as a gift to someone we love. So I'm going to just look through this artwork and obviously I love flowers. That's predominantly what I paint. So I know it's going to be a floral piece. I'm just going to look and see if there's a theme of some of my favorite things. So if I see something that I really like, I'm going to pull it out and um, might be kind of fun to use one of these banners. We'll see what we end up doing. I'm just scanning really quickly. I want to look for, obviously I'm gonna need some greenery, not just flowers, so we'll pull those ferns out. Lemons are so fun. It's really, really fun to go down memory lane when you're looking at your old art because some of these were some of my first paintings um, and it's just fun to see how far you've come. All right, so um, if you want to, you can just go ahead and start cutting things out or if you want to have a more um, methodical strategy, you can go through each page and kind of mark, okay, I want to cut out this one, maybe put a little dot by it, cut out this one. Uh, might want this little guy, this little guy, uh, just to make it easier for yourself that you're not cutting out every single piece. You can certainly do that if you want. It just might save you a little bit of time in the long run. I miss you mostly all the time. I think I made a big mistake to let you go Cause I'm, I'm getting lonely by the day And days are passing faster ever since you've gone away Okay, so I now have all of my um, pieces that I want to use for this new piece of artwork cut out which is definitely more tedious then you would think, especially because I did smaller <clears throat> individual elements, that using a big, a big, um, a bigger scissor was a lot harder. It's definitely easier if you have smaller scissors, or if you use an X-Acto knife to get into the nooks and crannies. Um, but I think for what I'm going to be doing, it, this will be just fine, and you can be as detailed with your cutting as you want. It's totally up to you. We are just going to try layering um, these elements in different ways to get a beautiful new floral arrangement. And what I would suggest is you want to have a base layer that is not elevated. So I'll be using my crafter's tape. And then you can start to add in more layers of <clears throat> dimension with your tape or your cardboard. And so right here, I only have one layer of tape or one layer of cardboard, but you could technically double things up or triple things up to give it more height and more depth from your paper. 
So I'm going to go ahead and start playing around with my initial pieces. I think I'm going to save this one. It has a really pretty um, shadow and I might want to have that one be elevated. But for my base, I'm probably going to do a couple of these leaves and then a few flowers. And there's no right or wrong way. Like I said, you could do this for hours. And it's kind of therapeutic, honestly. I like to start with a layer of leaves to give it a good base. And then you can go in with some flowers. And see, I haven't um, attached anything yet, but I'm just getting an idea of where I might want things to go. And so this is a very delicate piece, like the fern. And I want, I definitely want to highlight this with dimension. So I'm gonna save this one for towards the end. I also have some of these cute little berries. It might look cute tucked in. Um, might be a little too yellow. So once you start piecing it together, you can decide if your color scheme is working. You might need to go back um, and cut out some, some more flowers or whatever elements that you have that you're working with. But there's no really rhyme or reason. You're just kind of playing with it to see how things look. So I think I, I'm liking how this is going. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna pull these off. And I'm going to attach these pieces. I'm gonna start with this pretty ginkgo leaf. I kind of like that one better. I'm going to go ahead and put that right there. That's pretty. And then I also had this tucked in. I'll do that as well. Okay, and it's okay if some things get a little covered up. It'll just look more natural and, and beautiful. So I think I'm gonna save this piece to go right there towards the end because I just think that's so cute. So I think what I'll do first before I attach it to the paper is I'm going to elevate the center part. I might have made that too big. Let's see. Okay. And then nice and you can even kind of fold things a little bit so they come away from the paper a little more give it a little more of an organic feel almost like you're curling the paper kind of makes this leaf pop up which I like and let's see I'm gonna save this one for going up here or maybe up this way. We've got a good flow going. I have this 
line up here, it kind of your eye follows it down here, which is a nice thing to pay attention to when you're composing. I miss you mostly all the time is I'm going to make this piece taller than one layer, but I need to make them pretty small since it's a really delicate, tiny little piece. I miss you mostly all the time. I think I made a big mistake to let you go because I'm getting lonely by the day and days are passing faster ever since you've gone there you go oh that's so lovely i love that and before it was just a blank it was just a simple watercolor wash and a bunch of individual flowers just sitting in my drawer for years <laughs> And now it's got a new life and you can even see, okay, that might look better that way. Horizontal. I actually really like how that looks. So you can just play around with it and see which way you like. And you can keep adding to it if it needs a little something. Um, but really, it's just a great way to reuse things that you already have in your office and to create something beautiful out of something tired and old. So let's go ahead and finish, get this in its frame. And then I can't wait to see what you guys have come up with, with repurposing your old artwork. If you enjoyed this project, be sure to check out the rest of the class on my Skillshare channel. You can find the link in the comment section below.